Hello trumpet players, this is video number 10 in our trumpet comeback player video guide. We're going to talk in this uh, video about age and health related issues. One of the common questions I get is, when am I too old to play the trumpet? And the answer is, it really doesn't work like that. I've played professional gigs with players 80s and 90s, easily. And 70s, a whole bunch of 70-year-old trumpet players. I believe that my oldest student right now is in his 70s. And he sounds wonderful. And there's no sign of him slowing down anytime soon. And what else? So, you know, right now, my students, over half of my students right now are men who are comeback trumpet players. And uh, so I have a lot of experience working with students at a variety of different ages and dealing with different health issues. So, and really the age thing is not an issue at all beyond just like socially speaking uh things that you know like the the garage band down the street probably doesn't want to have an 80 year old trumpet player i mean maybe they will but you you see what i mean as the, the social stuff is not stuff that we're going to cover here in in the studio right uh so, yeah, the, what really happens is as you get older, your health, for some people, begins to, to deteriorate, right? And the question is, and, and I've, my stance on this is a little different from what I've read online, right? There's people who say you just got to keep healthy. But that's not true. I've seen people who were terribly unhealthy and unfit who kept playing and played well. I've seen people chain smoking and, and they can only play f uh, like three bars. But <laughs> like the emphysema is so bad, but they're still playing. So it doesn't really work in a general sense like that. Now, I do think that the more healthy you are in general, the more stuff you can do in general. But the problem is, you could be overall a very, very healthy person, but that one thing that's causing a problem in your life could be the one thing that prevents you from playing the trumpet. And that's how it works. I just recently got an email from somebody who, uh, once again, a comeback player, and he's got severe dry mouth from a autoimmune, autoimmune disease. Severe dry mouth. And um, so can we really say that's an age-related thing? In a way we can because the, the older you get, the more of these things that start to pile up if you don't, you know. I shouldn't have said if you don't. So, so things start to pile up, right? But that's not really 100% connected to age. There's some people that get to be... So I just recently read a, a article about the, the oldest living jazz players and they had somebody on there at the age of 103. So it happens, right? Well, you can play late, late, late into your, your 90s. 
It just depends on exactly what is your health in the midst of all that. So what kind of stuff can cause you to have to stop playing the horn? Health-wise. If, let's start with the first one. If you're too weak to hold the horn up. Now, you can get one of those stands and stuff like that. And that's where the, the willpower comes in, right? Some people don't want to mess with that. So other people have such a passion to play the horn that they'll get a stand that will hold the horn up for them. And so, yes, but yes, that's one of the things. Um, just having the, the physical strength to hold the instrument up. As an alternative, you could consider a plastic trumpet. They are not as good sounding, but you can still play the horn. And it's not nearly as heavy to pick up. What else is there? Uh, if you... Now, I've just experienced, I don't have any serious, serious health issues. But even with the health issues I've got, um, low-line stuff, I found myself having extremely, uh, uh, an extremely weak abdomen on my gig this weekend. Um, basically, what it was was dehydration and then some complications of uh, other stuff. But I was dehydrated. It was an outdoor gig. And I remember trying to play loud. When I play loud, I don't realize how hard I'm blowing from the abdomen. You don't realize how hard you're blowing until that strength's no longer there. So there's definitely that. If you don't have the core strength to push the air through, that can be a problem. Now, this is one of the things that being more fit can help with. Now, my understanding is that there are some things that prevent you from becoming fit, right? So, some medications and things like that, that no matter how much you exercise, you don't gain strength. And that's a concern, isn't it? So, this, so you see, there's not just one simple straight-ahead, forward, straightforward answer to when am I too old to play the trumpet? And, you know, I think part of the reason why people ask this is they don't want to get started on it at the age of 70 and think that they've only got two or three years left. And once again, you just can't do it that way. Who knows what issues you're going to have? What you want to, what you want to do is look at what issues you have now. And if they get worse, can you still play the horn? That's how you want to ask that question. What else do we have? Um, we talked about the air, right? But well, we talked about the air from the from the support side. What about uh, limited air capacity? So you just can't breathe in enough and get enough air through the horn. That might be an issue. Uh, here's another one that's actually kind of common is not being able to read the music. I had a student that had this problem, and what we did to fix that was to enlarge all his music. So I would uh, scan it on my, my uh, scanner, and then print it two pages, two uh, landscape pages, so that he had a full a uh, single page that he could read. And so, yes, there are issues like this that come up. Now, the question is, how badly do you want to do this? In almost all these cases, you can pull it off. It's just how, mu how much do you want to pull it off? Like I said, you can get a stand to hold the instrument up. You can find a smaller trumpet so that it doesn't require as much air. Now, I know that's 
not exactly how it works. What you really want, if you're having trouble with with air volume, you want a smaller throat. The throat is what determines how much air is going to go through. But that's something that's doable. How much are you willing to fight to keep playing the horn? And that's the answer to how long do you still have left? Because that's when that, what they're asking. When people say, uh, when am I too old? What they're saying is, how much time do I have left? And the answer is, how hard are you willing to, to fight to keep playing? Are you willing to make this uh, uh, a primary objective so that it gets done? So that you find a solution to whatever physical problems that come up? So, I hope that makes sense. The, there is no age problem at all. You know, I, I saw Bruce Chidester, I hope that's how you say his name. He's got a page. I did a little bit of poking around online before I started this video. And he's got a page where he talks about all the the signs, 10 signs that you're too old to play the trumpet. But it's very funny. <laughs> right? I, I encourage you to look for that. Um, if you, Probably if you search on Google, 10 signs you're too old to play the trumpet, that'll probably come up at the top. It's pretty funny. All right. But really, I, uh, where there's a will, there's a way. It's just, and I've seen this my whole career. I've seen this my whole career. There's people who say they want something. They just don't want it enough to pay that price. And, and you know what? I'm not saying that in a uh, condescending way. If it's not worth it to you to fight that hard, then don't do that. I'm not one of those people who, who believes everybody should always continue always. That's not how life is. So take, take assessment of your personal situation and your personal health. See how that matches up with the demands of playing trumpet. And go from there. Now, I do recommend in in video number nine we talked about who should have a teacher who should not have a teacher um if you are facing these kinds of challenges where you can barely hold the instrument up or you you no matter how much you try you can't get enough air through the horn that kind of stuff i really recommend that you match up with a teacher who can help you work through those things Really, it, it really does help to have a teacher because the teacher will have had experience with other people, other students, uh, working through these kind of issues. Now, if, you, if the teacher hasn't had that, then maybe not, right? So be careful who you get as a teacher. Anyway, so that's the, my take on the age thing. It's not really an age thing, it's a health thing. And it's not really a fitness thing because there's a lot of unfit people that play trumpet very fine. It's almost like playing the lottery in, in negative, right? If the problem you're having with your health specifically gets in the way of your trumpet playing, then the question comes up, how much are you willing to fight to keep playing the horn? That's a very, very important question. All right. Well, God bless you. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask below. Thank you very much.